Now we're going to talk about cleaning and sanitizing at CHCH, and we're here with Gwen Pajasic, our Chief Financial Officer, our CFO. Thank you so much, Gwen, for joining us. Um, so cleaning and sanitizing is a huge part of this year, really important for running um, a safe campus. So I wanted to just first ask you, what sort of differences are we going to see on campus and what are sort of things are being put in place for cleaning and sanitizing? Sure. One of the first things you'll notice is you'll see our cleaning staff more regularly during the day. Um, they'll be focused in on high traffic areas, um, cleaning bathrooms, railings, doorknobs, all those things multiple times a day, um, along with the regular cleaning that they do every evening. Great. And um, so different spaces are going to have different, different cleaning and um, sanitizing frequency, right? So you want to talk a little bit about... Sure, correct. Like the bathrooms will be cleaned multiple times a day in, in between uses, and um, classrooms will be cleaned once the classes are done for the day. Um, but you'll see cleaners in the hallways, wiping trash cans and doors and things that are touched frequently. Um, the other space you'll see additional cleaning will be the dining hall. Okay. Um, so, so air cleanliness and ventilation is really important part of, of cleaning and safety here. So how has that played into this coming year? Yes. So the, the first thing is we will be encouraging teachers um, and office staff to be outside as much as possible. Um, so we're working on providing spaces for outdoor classrooms and workspaces. Um, when that's not possible, when it's a nice weather, we'll be asking that windows are open in classrooms. Um, in our more modernized buildings, um, we're working with our HVAC consultants to make sure we're up to the, the correct level of filtration, that everything is functioning per correct. And in the classrooms we're, that are not as modern are going to be having um, HEPA air filters that scrub the air um, and circulate the air more frequently. Great. Um, so we, we looked inside the classroom and we saw that there's going to be hand sanitizing inside and outside the classroom. Are there any other additions that people can take themselves when they're here on campus for, for safety and sanitizing? Yes. Yeah, so one of the things we'll be asking the students to do is to wipe down the desk um, every time they come into a classroom to use it mm -hmm. um, and to really try to leave their space as clean as possible for the next student that comes in. Great. And for families, so what can families and other community members do to help with the cleanliness, with the sanitizing of our campus? I think the most important thing is, um, one, make sure when you come to campus you're healthy, um, that you, you're practicing good hygiene at home, but also wash your hands frequently, use hand sanitizer, which will be readily available throughout campus multiple times a day. Um, and if you see an issue, let us know so that we can make sure that the cleaning is at the level it needs to be. Great. And one follow-up, too, just on, on the things that we'll have to follow, there's going to be signage around campus, right? Can you talk about what people are going to see when they go around campus to help keep them safe? Sure, yes. Yeah. So you'll see lots of signs saying to wear a face covering at all times. Um, you'll see signs reminding you to stay socially distanced. Um, in specific spaces, you'll have arrows pointing to the way we want the traffic to flow in a building. Um, in spaces like the dining hall, you'll see things marking the floor that tell you where to stand while you're waiting in line. Um, but you'll also see signs that tell you about the symptoms and what to do if, you're, if you um, need to report it. All right, thank you. Can you tell me more about the cleaning crew and how they're going to operate this year? Sure. Um, first thing um, that is most important is the cleaning crew will all be wearing personal protective equipment um, at all times when they're cleaning. Um, in the event of some type of exposure, you'll see increased PPE in that case um, with a full gowning. Um, one of the other things is they're going through several trainings um, to make sure that all of their crew is up to date on all of the requirements from the CDC and the Department of Health. Um, and lastly, one, we've added a new tool this year, which is an electrostatic cleaning machine. And basically what it does is it sprays a fine mist in the air and it attaches and atomizes the air so that it kills the bacteria that is in really small spaces. This is especially useful in an area where there are soft surfaces. And what do you look forward to in the opening this, this September when campus comes back? What are, you, what are you looking forward to? I'm most excited to see the kids back on campus um, to get them to use the barn that we're standing in mm -hmm. that they really didn't get a chance to use last year um, and just to bring the campus back to life. Great. Thank you so much for all the work you're doing and keeping everything clean and safe for, for the community. Thank, Thank you. you.